Hi Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week starting May 14th, 2018. So as always, remember these are general, they're not going to apply to everyone. Watch your Moon and Rising Sign readings for additional messages that may apply to you. And if you're interested in a private reading or you want to look at the special offers um, currently running, the links are in the description box below. Okay, so let's go through your cards here. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the King of Swords in reverse as your overall energy. With the King of Swords in reverse, okay, for some of you, this is coming up as um, you're not really getting what you wanted during this time or for this time frame. This is experiencing some sort of disappointment. Um, I'm also getting some sort of anger um, type of emotion here, okay? Um, impatience, uh, frustration. This is also kind of dealing with things that are not within your control. You have to wait for other people to make up their minds. You have to wait for other people to decide. You have to wait for resolutions or solutions or answers. And that's not really an easy thing for you to handle. Um, you're used to just getting on with things, making quick decisions and moving forward. And so now you can't do that. You have to wait. And so you're feeling a little bit stuck with this energy. You might be dealing with red tape, bureaucracy dealing with the government, institutions, big corporations, and everything takes time. And so for some, that's what you're dealing with, and that's what's frustrating you during this time. Of course, this could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, for better or for worse, this person is a focus for you, okay? When it comes to your cards, we have the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Four of Rods upright, or the Four of Wands. We have the Justice card with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Moon in reverse. We have the Judgment card in reverse with the Four of Swords in reverse. So quite a few reversals here. And then the King of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune upright towards the end of the week. So I do feel that for a lot of you, you're dealing with delays and things that you can't control um, and that is causing you a lot of stress anxiety frustration during this time um, for some this could be about a job or promotion with the four of rods here um, even a living arrangement but then it's it's the, the legal side of it is the formalities that take time because you do have success with that you have that initial conversation um, you have someone expressing intention uh, to help you, to get you settled, to give you a new job, to give you a promotion. And then it's just delayed, okay? Because you do have the justice card here and that talks about the legal system for a lot of you. It is upright, okay? So it talks about the fact that things are going in your uh, favor. However, then it's just kind of it slows down not a lot may happen during this week okay and you can allow it to unfold the way it is unfolding or you can stress um, and then try to push it try to force it and create extra delays for yourself so just keep that in mind okay for um, others of you you might be looking into becoming self-employed Okay, or you have been self-employed and now you're looking into getting a regular job working for another company um, with this energy. The good news is you're getting information. Okay, with the moon reverse, you're getting information. It's clear. It's to the point. Um, but then it just takes time is what I'm getting. With the judgment card in reverse, okay, this is... Something you know you want to do, something you know is the right thing to do, but it's not within your control yet. And for others, this is something that you know you want to do, you know that you should do this, but you are not uh, taking action with it. Okay? So... Towards the end of the week, though, 
You do have the Wheel of Fortune upright with the King of Cups. So someone is giving you a helping hand. Someone is trying to point you in the right direction, put you in touch with the right people. This could be a recruiter. This could be the boss. Um, and they're offering you this change. You do get to see things turn around. You do have the Justice card and the Wheel of Fortune and the Judgment card in your reading. That means you're dealing with important energies here. There's not a lot that you can control uh, on the surface, but what you can do to help the situation is to keep your thoughts positive, to keep your thoughts hopeful, to have faith that things are working out in your favor, even though it may take some time. There may be some negotiation over money with this energy, and maybe you're not getting what you were hoping for. However, with the Justice card, that is what is fair under the circumstances is what I'm getting, okay? So you have to make up your mind. You have to decide if you want to take someone's offer or not because maybe it's not going to pay what you thought it would or what you thought it should. However, the moon is in reverse there is clarity here, there is truth here, and the Justice card is saying that things are as they should be for better or for worse during this time, okay, at least for now. Um, but you do, you are getting some news that you have to act upon quick, okay, you have to make up your mind, do you want it, do you not want it? For others of you, you might be looking into getting support, getting a loan, getting help from the government maybe for your own business. And it's taking a long time, but then by the end of the week, if you don't have the loan or the support that you're asking for, you do have someone on your side telling you exactly what you need to be doing to get what you need to get, okay? So that's that's good. For some of you, I feel that um, someone might be refusing um, an offer and it may be in a romantic sense. Someone might be refusing an offer. Someone might be, um, you know, saying that they're not interested or that they've actually moved on already. But there is truth that is revealed during this time. It's not something that the other person wants to hear. This could be happening to you as well. You've made an offer. You've tried to make someone an offer. Ask them out and talk to them about a relationship or stuff like that or living together or your future. Um, and there's this truth revealed that is not exactly what you or the other person wants to hear. But it does get you to move forward from a place that you've been feeling like you're stuck in when it comes to the relationship. So there's truth revealed about people's expectations or about people and what they're willing to do and how far they're willing to go and if they're willing to commit or not, okay? And then with the King of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, this does talk about change. For some, that might mean breakup, divorce, leaving a relationship. But for others, it might mean giving a relationship a second chance and trying to be more clear, um, open, and uh, truthful with one another. I do feel that someone might be too materialistic or too much into their looks and too much into their status and ego and reputation and what people think um, and they've been demanding 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 from you and so with this energy you get to say you know what actually I care for you very much but if you only see that if I buy you things then maybe this is not a good relationship okay if I have to give you stuff all the time for you to see that I care for you then Maybe that's not the best situation and maybe I don't want to be in this situation anymore. You might be walking away from an earth sign to move towards a water sign. A water sign might be coming back from your past with this energy. I do feel that someone is saying no to something. Saying no to a second chance um, because it's just it's the right thing to do. Things have added up and it's reached a point where you have clarity, you know that this is not right, you know that you need to get out of it so you have no regret, okay? Or you have no regret about putting your foot down and starting to talk about your expectations. 
your guidance card, we do have intention. So for a lot of you, I feel that you're talking a lot about your intentions during this time. So for some, you're talking about your intentions when it comes to a relationship, um, whether that is to take the next level or what a, whether it is to say that, hold on, this is not fair. This is what I deserve. And these are your intentions, but these are my intentions. These are your expectations, but these are my expectations. For others, this is about talking about, about your intentions and expectations when it comes to pay, when it comes to work. The message here is try to be compassionate, try to be um, flexible and willing to negotiate if this is in a work sense. This could also be where, again, you have your own business and then you... Um, are looking for a job as well or you have your own business and a regular job and it's just keeping the two balanced okay and it's about looking at the long term can you do this long term or do you have to make changes now to make it better for yourself in the long run what are your intentions what are your goals is the path you're currently on taking you to that goal or is it time to change direction are you in the right job? Are you with the right person? Because you're thinking more and more about your intentions for yourself, for your future, for your happiness, for your success. And it's time now to address some issues head on with the moon in reverse. To be honest with yourself and to say, am I in the right situation or do I need to change things for myself? Because otherwise, I'm never going to get to where I want to get to. This is also about being compassionate, flexible, willing to negotiate, and to see that the other person might have good intentions to try to collaborate, to try to meet each other in the middle. Again, especially if it's in a work sense, in a professional sense, negotiation type of uh, situation. But this is a card that talks about you speaking about what your intentions are, what your expectations are. Be honest, be kind, try to be realistic, and they will either be met or you will have the opportunity to negotiate to a point where you're happy with what you can get, okay? But always keep your mind in the big picture. You might take a step back now, but it actually will propel you forward, or you might take a pay cut now, a slight pay cut now, but it would actually, um, just not even matter in the, in the long term because you can grow, grow, grow very quickly. So think in perspective when it comes to the decisions that you have to make during this time. Okay? So that is your reading for the week. Kind of varied and a little bit all over the place, but I feel like that's all how you may be feeling during this time because everything's kind of up in the air and there's not a lot that you can control. But the decisions that you do have to make, try to think in perspective and make the right decisions for yourself based on what your goals are, what your intentions are, and what you deserve as well, okay, with the Justice card. So let me know how the messages make sense to you, how they apply to you if they do. Remember to watch your moon and uh, rising sign reading as well. Have a wonderful week. I'll talk to you again very soon. Bye for now.